I don't know. Flex your arm. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? Got my little man here who is a celebrity. Realize that, man? Our last video almost has 100K views. Now, a guy said in the last video that I don't even look at him. I'm looking at him right here. I don't want to just turn my head the whole time, you know what I mean? I just look at him from right here. You see the little camera there, buddy? The little screen? Yeah. See, I'm watching. It's tiny, but I can see. So that's how I'm talking to him, almost like we're talking to a mirror. But uh, 100K views, man. What do you think about that? It's a lot. The people like you. They like what you had to say. Huh? In all my years of doing YouTube, my most viewed video is a video about you. Child chooses 360 over Xbox One. Remember that video? Yeah. Remember that? Remember that? You in the thumbnail? Mm -hmm. Almost 4 million views on that video. Crazy. Crazy. I'm going to have to start having you on all the time. So we're in Best Buy yesterday. Topic of the video. We're in Best Buy. I'm buying a, uh, a new hard drive. That'll be another video. And uh, we come across something. What do we come across, buddy? $70 Cold War for PS5. Right, right. What else did we see? Uh, a Demon? scam. $50 scam for Cold War. Demon Souls? How much was Demon Souls? 70 bucks for PS5. $70 for PS5. He was unaware of this. Um, I originally had no intentions on making a video about this. I mean, we knew about the $70 price tag a while ago. He had a little something to say. What did, you even said, oh, we got to make a video on this. Real quick, um, there was a scam edition uh, version of Cold War on the Xbox. It said Xbox One slash Xbox Series X for how much? Uh, 50 bucks. 50 bucks. And then it had the Xbox Series X version, which had a little X at the top right. It was uh, $60. $60. So if you'd have bought that $50 version, you'd have been on your nuts. It wouldn't be the next gen upgrade, which is some bullshit. But uh, talk to me, man. Tell me about the $70 game. How do you feel about this? Uh, it looked to be exclusive to PlayStation with, a, with the exception of a few games like, like Cold War, I think is the only game right now that I can think of on Xbox. Anyways, proceed. My bad. Um, just, that doesn't make sense to me. Like, 70 bucks, I mean, I know that a lot of work goes into those games, but for sales, it's like, $70 for a video game? Mm -hmm. can't, like, uh, the Series X was $500, right? Right. You only gotta get, like, what, around 10 games? And you'll have, like, that will have more worth than the console will. Like, it... Just seventy dollars for a game sounds a bit much to me. Okay. Does sixty dollars sound like a bit much? It's it's expensive, mm -hmm. but it's like I've gotten used to the sixty dollars at this point. But you've really, gotten used to it. Yeah. You've gotten yeah, I'm glad you've gotten used to it. I've gotten used to it. I'm I buy all your shit for you. Yeah, and it's like a an extra ten dollars, seventy dollars for a video game? I don't know, that's expensive. Uh-huh. Like, super expensive. So, the question is, is it unacceptable or is it acceptable? Do you feel like it's some bullshit? They got no business raising the price? Or is it acceptable? Uh, I think it's unacceptable. It's unacceptable. Unacceptable. There can be no exceptions, no matter what. No matter what. You tell me. Be real to the game, man. Don't sugarcoat nothing. $60 is the AAA price, and it's been that way for a long time. Mm -hmm. You're raising the AAA price another 10 bucks. Right. $70 for a video game. Just too much for me. It's too much. I mean, that's, that's exclusive to PlayStation as far as I know. Uh, I'm pretty sure Xbox isn't doing it. Some devs can't or some publishers can't implement it. But um, I don't feel... I don't feel that way. I feel differently. Now, a lot of PC elitists will tell you $60 is the price. It's, uh, there's, there's no coming back or there's no going forward. You stay, you stay at uh, $60 or we're not buying your game. I understand that. A lot of people got that mentality. It's not just PC elitists. A lot of people have it. I understand it. I, uh, to me, 
An extra $10 for a mediocre title is unacceptable. I agree. I 100% agree. As a matter of fact, if you coming out, if you coming at me with a mediocre title, let's drop the price. Okay, 10, 20 bucks, preferably 20 bucks. All right, I want to pay $40 for your mediocre game. Is what I want to do. Now, a game like, like, there's no denying Rockstar's quality. Correct, my man. Yeah. Rockstar Red Dead Redemption 2. When you fire up Red Dead Redemption 2, you realize you you done stumbled into a whole nother level of game development. True? Yeah. Graphically, gameplay wise, storytelling wise, a Naughty Dog is as is, is controversial as their last title was, as much bullshit in the title. When you when you fire up a Naughty Dog game, you walking into a whole different realm. Of game development, okay? This ain't like Ori in, in the Willow, Willow of the Wisps. This ain't like uh, Destruction All-Stars. This is walking into game development at its finest. You know you're getting a high quality product. You know you're getting top of the line. Um, in just every aspect of the game. These games are fine-tuned. They, they are masters of their craft, these developers. And uh, I think if that's the case, and it's a game that appeals to me, I got no problem shelling out another $10. I don't. That may be the wrong mentality. I'm not going to say it's the right mentality. Um, the right mentality is probably we, we shouldn't pay. We shouldn't pay over $60. But at the same time, from what I understand, games back in the day, like I'm talking like early, early back in the day, Games were, were $60, $70. From what I'm hearing, that could be bullshit. But uh, to, tell, to tell a developer that your game isn't worth the extra $10, I think that should be a case-by-case -case basis. Your thoughts? Yeah, you got a point. It's just... Um... Now, don't agree just to agree with me, my man. I'm not... If you disagree, disagree. You've got a point, but it's like at the same time, it's like not everybody likes a game that you like. Some you can like Red Dead Redemption too, and somebody else could like shell out the extra ten dollars and be disappointed with their purchase. Yeah, they could so, think it's boring, right? Yeah, they could like go, ah, oh, I paid ten extra dollars for this, and they could think it's trash, some of the worst crap they've ever played. Right. And it's just I feel like it's all on personal opinion, mm -hmm. and just because a game is received well doesn't mean that it'll be received well by others. Right, some naturally. People, some people are going to dislike the game, and they're going to be annoyed that they're spending 10 extra bucks on a game that they weren't happy with. Mm -hmm. So it's like it makes sense with what you were saying, mm -hmm. but it's like if you were to raise the tag universally, now somebody who was just like, oh, well, dang, this game looks good, and then they purchased it and were disappointed with it, now they feel cheated. They feel scammed. Yeah, but don't you feel scammed paying six dollars for a game that turns out to be trash? At least, at least it's the AAA normal price, right. like the regular price. It's not like you're increasing it by right. ten bucks. I get you, I get you, and, and and that's that's why I say it's a case by case basis. Now, with PlayStation just upping the price of most of their games, um, I think at that rate it's just it's just going to be a pick and choose. You know, I don't think it makes you a hypocrite. If you say I'm against them doing it, but I'm going to go ahead and buy this game because I really want this game. I mean, I guess it kind of makes you a hypocrite, but like, not really. Because you're paying for a premium product, which you feel to be a premium product. Whereas a game like, um, um, what's that one I just said? Destruction All-Stars. To me, that, that's a $20 game. That's $20. I hear they upped it to $70. Think Rocket League, only you can get out of your car. From what I understand, they made it $70. And then I heard it went free to PS Plus. I don't know what they did with it. Bottom line, if I see GTA 6 priced at $70, I'm not going to sit back and say I'm not buying it. I'm buying it. Plain and simple. If Did I say 60 or 70 70 Yeah, 70. I'm buying it. If it's $70, I'm going to own it. Godfall came out on PS5 when I first got the PS5. I looked at the gameplay for Godfall. I said, yeah. That's $40. They charge $70. Never going to happen. Now, I game share with Blaze 4K. 
he bought it for $70. And I think the only reason he bought it is because he got a new console and he wanted to see everything he could possibly see on the console. If, it, if he had had the console, I don't think he would ever pay $70 for that. So I think some devs, some publishers will be able to charge $70 and be successful. But I think for the most part, considering 90% of the games that come out are mediocre anyways, I think they got no business charging. Uh, like I said, GTA 6 comes out, $70 game, I'm on it, day one. Your thoughts? Yeah, I just uh, feel like 70 is a bit much. Mm -hmm. I uh, agree with what you're saying, like a case-on-case -case basis, but it's like at the same time, people, it's like it's going to feel like a scam to them that they're paying 10 extra dollars for a game that some people aren't going to be happy with. Do you so, think, do you know what a hypocrite is? Uh, somebody who, like... Let's say somebody was telling you not to drink, and then they turn around and start drinking. Right. That's a hypocrite. Right. Do you think I'm a hypocrite if I say, I'm not paying 70 for that game? Hell no. Then this other mediocre game comes out, that werewolf game that I'm seeing. Uh, 70 bucks? Hell no. I don't know if it's 70. I'm just making an example. Hell no. GTA 6, $70. Oh, hell yes. I'm buying it day one. Am I a hypocrite? Uh, Be real. Not really. It depends on... Uh... It depends on how you're acting. Like, if you're protesting it, $70 is too much. Right. And that, <laughs> like, if you're throwing a big temper tantrum over it. Right. Then, yeah, but it's like, if it the if you really like the series, then, yeah, it doesn't make you a hypocrite. Okay. I like that. I like that. And, and I feel like that's how you should feel. I think you should, I think, for the most part, $70 is too much. We should put our foot down. But I think there are exceptions. I, I don't believe all games are created equal. I don't believe all devs are created equal. We do have a top branch. We do have a top branch. Man, my arms look like shit. Look at this. Come on, man. 19 inch arms. We do have a top branch. So I'm willing to, I'm willing to dish out another, uh, uh, an extra $10 every now and then. So uh, closing thoughts. That's all I got, baby. You yeah. got anything else? Yeah, that's it. You sure? Yeah. Just, yeah. uh, again, the scam, really, dude. Right, 50 right. bucks. I, I really hope people weren't thinking that. I really hope that a lot of people didn't fall victim to that. That's oh, that said. Call of Duty on Series X? Yeah, the Call yeah that was nasty. Yeah, that's that was of, nasty. That's nasty. Yeah, yeah. I, I bet you somebody fell for that. Uh, I damn near fell for it. I was like, 50 bucks, because I didn't rebuy Cold War on Xbox. I told you I'd stay strong. I was like, 50 bucks, let's go. I was like, wait a minute, Rich uh, Review Tech made a video on this. Said Xbox One, Xbox Series X. But there was no sticker in the top right. Grabbed the other one, $60. It was $10 off. It was on sale. Yeah, yeah, they would have gotten me, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. But anyways, that's all I got for you. We'll holla at you. Later. Oh, we got to do a thumbnail. Um, what's the thumbnail? What's the thumbnail? I don't know. Flex your arm. I don't really have any size on this one. On this one, your arms are the same size. It's like, it's kind of hard to explain. It's harder to flex with this one. All right, let's uh, let's put on meme faces. How do you how do you do this in a thumbnail? Mm -hmm. This? Wait, do it again. Yeah. <sighs> you imagine if the neighbors are watching us? 